Hi, I'm Chris Bellani, the Senior Product Manager for the Release Stage here at GitLab. And I'm Daniel Fosco, Senior Product Designer for the Release Stage as well. And this is the planning issue for release for 14.7. So we'll start with the engineering deliverables. And then since we now have Daniel in this kickoff call, which I'm really excited about, we'll switch gears to discuss the design work happening in this milestone. So the first goal of the milestone is to finish the environments page redesign. The next goal is to finish and ship the deployment approval API. And finally, the last goal is to continue work to improve the reliability and performance of the pages feature. Note that this is a relatively short milestone since a lot of the team will be out for December holidays. That said, we're still hoping to accomplish a lot to make progress towards our goals. So here's what the milestone will look like in terms of issues. For our P1 deliverables, we have a mix of issues across the goals I just mentioned. First, we have an issue for the last front end component that needs to be built as part of the environment's page redesign. Up to date, we have been building the other components in the past few milestones as we've discussed before. And once this one is complete, we'll have all the pieces to ship the new design, which will be behind a feature flag. Next, we'll be continuing the issue from the last milestone for the first class concept for deployment approval, which will be an API. As a reminder, this is the first iteration of enabling teams to properly protect certain environments and ensure deployment jobs have the necessary approvals. The next two issues are focused on enabling the domain-based and IP-based rate limiting functionality in a testing mode so we can estimate the impact. The next one is add release API endpoints for groups. This one actually is a dependency for another issue that improves how we handle security permissions for some of our endpoints. The next one is an issue that Victor raised recently and impacted the release post -proce process, preventing some MR diffs from loading. We wanna make sure this is resolved quickly before the next release. Thanks, Victor, and shout out to Victor for uh, raising this one. Lastly, we have a, com a community contribution issue that has been sitting in the queue for a while and upvoted by community members that we want to complete. Add support for mounting a persistent volume claim. For P2 and P3 issues, we have some performance, security, and bug issues that are on deck, as you can see here. So those are our deliverables. And with that, I'll hand it over to Daniel to discuss the design work. Thanks, Chris. So on the design side for 14.7, uh, we have a few issues that support the current um, development work that's been happening. So the first one on the list, update project settings to be able to set approval count, uh, is a design update to our project settings in order to support uh, deployment approvals. The second one, display environment tier on the environments page is meant to display the environment tier, the deployment tier, which is the information we already have on the API on the UI, so it's one more piece of information that supports our customers when managing their deployments and environments. The third one, add open live environment button to the pipeline view is another way to improve our environment uh, functionalities on the pipeline view. Um, the last two are more research focused. Um, the first one is the UX core card that we're starting to work on to improve the um, capabilities of environment management. And the second one is a review of our jobs to be done uh, within the release orchestration category. All right, so that's what we have planned for 14.7, some really great updates here, really excited about these. Um, more detail in the planning issue and each of the issues listed here. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thanks.